Welcome folks to the third week of the Balloons TD6 Anniversary Cup. The cup race, jump the cup. Now this map seems to be pretty straightforward, there isn't any modifiers, uh, some tower restrictions but all in all seems doable. So let's see how hard it could be. So this race just seems to be a normal reverse game except that it's on hard and we are starting from round 3 and end at round 63 with of course some tower restrictions as I mentioned earlier so how hard could this be? So here's how I'm handling this race, I'm going to start off by placing an ace right here in the exact middle of this map and I'm going to set it to figure infinite so that I can pop as many balloons as I can and I'm just going to send to round 10 and wait until I can afford a uh, druid because I plan to get a middle path 030 druid which should be able to pop a lot of balloons and give us a lot of money. So yeah, but anyway, uh, coming back to this, uh, we're going to, we're not going to send any more rounds until um, this bunch of balloons have subsided. There we go, and we're going to send around 13. I overshot a little as usual, but that's fine. Uh, so now we're going to wait until we have a little more than $600 before we sell the ace. There we go, get drill jungle, and then we can send it around 23. Now we're going to wait until we save up for the for our Benjamin, and we're going to place it in this uh, sandy pit right here just because it's closest to the um, tower placement option. And now we're going to send to round 30, we're going to get hard taunt so that it can pop lead and we're also going to get a sub just so that we can decamo our balloons. Now unfortunately we can't get a plutonium vector but that's completely fine. Uh, now we're going to send to round 39 and we're going to go ahead and get a bomb. We're going to get a 203 bomb. Now you might think a 204 bomb will be better and you're absolutely right but uh, given the limitations in this race uh, I wouldn't uh, complain that much let's put it that way. And also I'm going to get back our ace just so that we can get a fighter play and we, you know since we can get ODS we might as well and um, let's just leave it as figure 8 for now and since we already have uh, what was it since we already have the sub we don't need to get the middle path ace so this will do fine for now um, in the meantime we're going to get a boat this will serve as our main DPS for the time being and we're going to send to 149 we're going to upgrade to aircraft carrier before uh, before we send to round 50. There we go. Now for time being, just so that we can pop, sorry, so that we can decamo these balloons faster, we're just going to upgrade the ever starts. We're going to upgrade the sub to ever starts. There we go. And now our map popping capability should be more than enough. Let's put it that way. And in the meantime, since we can get this and we really need as much area popping power as possible, we're going to get the big one. Um, I don't think the biggest one is going to help that much. Uh, sorry, a 420, a biggest one in case you guys didn't see. And we can full send to 163 since we already have the, um, what is it, the big one. And it'll, it'll shred the uh, 163 uh, summoning boons just fine, don't, don't worry about that. Now we're going to save up a little bit, uh, we're going to wait a while before we um, actually uh, sell this and afford the carrier flagship. So in total you need about 2200 which we have right now. So let's sell that, get carrier flagship and we should be good against uh, the Moet class balloons. But we're not done yet because we can still uh, do much more popping power to these Moet class balloons. And this time we're actually going to go for a super monkey and just set it to strong. Because I think it does a better job at popping Moet class balloons and there we go. 3 minutes and 19 seconds, so um, I haven't seen the leaderboards yet, so let's see how we place. Uh, 16 overall, not bad with the lowest timing being just under 2 minutes, so not bad. And we are 2nd place uh, in the mini race out of 64, so obviously once again this is another um, top 10% uh, overall uh, strategy. Uh, so well, it shows top 50, but we will probably end up here in the top 10%, but that's not the point. The point is, um, you guys should have fun with this race, and um, if you can go for the top spots, do go for it. But in the meantime, that's all I have for you guys today, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you have anything. Uh, like this video if you like it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.